Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to my YouTube channel on SQL and PLSQL. In this video, we'll try and find the exact line number of an exception or an error which is raised quite down the stack. What we'll try and understand over here is how can we reach to the origin of an error or the source of an error if multiple procedures and functions are being called one into one another. So let's take a scenario to understand this. We have a function which takes in an employee ID and returns its salary. We have a procedure which calls this function. And then we have an anonymous block which calls the procedure or we execute the procedure. So when we execute the procedure, say suppose we get an exception. Where was the exception originated? Did it originate in the block itself or did it originate in the procedure or it was there in the underlying function? And how can we get this whole trace? How can we how can we try and get the whole error stack so that we can understand what is the root problem and where to find it? All the code that now I am going to show now is available on Oracle PLSQLblog.com. So do visit that. So as we stated earlier, we have a function. This is the function. It is quite simple. We just take an employee ID as an input, and we get the salary of that employee from the salary table. Now, if uh, the salary is null, then we are raising a no data found exception. Why we are doing this? There is, an, an, there is no employee which is not getting paid. Every employee present in the employees table has a salary. If we get a salary, we just return it, right? So this is our simple function to get the salary of a given employee. Now this function is basically now being called from a procedure say this procedure is quite complicated and there are various underlying functions or procedures being called and there is some business logic which is applied. So in this case, what we are doing is we're taking the employee ID and we are trying to give uh, arrays. So our business logic is get the salary of this employee and give a 40% hike. That's it. Very simple. Okay. So now when we call this procedure from a block, NMS block, what happens is we, are, we have just written few sentences like executing the um, the procedure, we execute the procedure and then we say completed the procedure. Let's say we don't need an exception block right now. Okay. Over here, let's pass in the employee ID as 100. Employee ID 100 is Stephen King for the data HR uh, data set that Oracle gives. Okay, I execute this and as you can see, I'll execute it again. I execute it and as you can see, it says executing this procedure over here. Then it says, it goes into the procedure. In the procedure we have again said executing procedure. Uh, then it goes into the function get employee function. Over here it has went, it is doing the executing this function. So it is displaying the present salary and the updated salary. That is what is there in this procedure. We just print the present salary and then we calculate the new salary and we print the new salary. Yeah, so this is it. And at the end it says completed the execution. All good, right? Everything is good when there are no errors. Now let's give an error. Let's give an employee ID that does not exist. So when you give it this way, as you can see, there is some uh, output that I got. Now you get this output of the whole error stack only in the case when there is no exception handling done, which is very rare in everyday scenario. There will be exception handlings done. So say suppose there is no exception handling done, it is very good, you get the whole error stack out. So over here, you need to read it from the below. How to read it is, it is no data found exception at line four, say it's one, two, three, four, four is update employee salary procedure being called. So here it says, in line seven of update employee salary, there is something wrong if you go there and see what's. So here I'm using the DBA source table. Uh, so this has all the all the code written for that. Name is basically the function or procedure or whatever. So I'm seeing all the code written for this procedure update employee sal because it says at line number seven, there is an issue. So if you come here at line seven, you can see that a function is being called, right? So now I go in and try and see 
okay it says at this function at line 7 there is an issue so I just let's see what's there on line 7 for this function so at line 7 it's a select statement so now we can understand that okay this select statement uh, failed and that is the reason we got this no data found exception basically we raised this exception that's why we got it right so this is the whole error stick that we have got but say suppose there was an exception handling done say you did an exception handling on the block itself in this case let me clear this out if you execute it all you get is executing the procedure this 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 and suddenly it gets, uh, goes to executing function and then it says error occurred in NMS block and the message. This is all because we have written various statements executing the function and executing the procedure and all that's why you can guess that okay it went till here. I don't think ever in real life you will be um, under every function you will be writing executing function or executing procedure. These things don't happen in real life. So you end up with this you end up with exception occurred this is basically what you wrote in your in your exception and I just caught others I just caught everything say uh, yeah so this is exception occurred exception code and then there is this error message nowhere it says where it was raised say there was a lot of things and you didn't had this statements written it would be really hard to find out so how to find out how to get that exact stack that we were getting previously in case when there was no exception handling done so the answer to that is using DBMS utility format error backtrace. There is something called as format error stick, stick, but that is just the latest stick that won't give much information. So this is backtrace is what you're looking for. If you put this and execute it, if you see under block, this is this block error backtrace, you will get the same whole stick. It will say here at line 4 there is an error inside at line 7 there is an error and inside at get employee sal salary line 7 is your error so this is the topmost is your core error where the error was originated exception was originated then it was unhandled in this block so it got propagated to next one over here also as you see there is no exception block I have just commented it so it didn't get uh, caught here and finally when you uh, did where others then in the outermost box uh, there was uh, there the error got actually caught so the exception got caught so this is the whole stack right but say suppose in this case so this is all fine this is your answer how to get to the core error or to the line number which uh, from where the exception was originated use dbms utility dot format error backtrace it is available from oracle 10g release 2 so that is the answer but say suppose in between somewhere there was an exception block say in this procedure you did an exception catch and you just wrote a procedure and wanted to write it nicely so you have an exception block in this case if you raise this what you really get is executing the first one getting inside the procedure executing the function then actually what is getting caught is the exception block of the procedure so in the procedure whatever exception is being caught is displayed here so error occurred in this uh, procedure if you see I have mentioned it here error occurred in PLSQL unit is nothing but the unit name the database object name in this case it is the procedure name so exception occurred in this and then the error code and the error message and then completed so ever if the exception has got erased and have got caught the format error backtrace will have the latest information the latest raise of the exception so if the raise was caught here it has this if if the raise was here it caught that it has uh, it has this raise information then again it got caught here so it has this information so now the question is if you are handling exceptions down the line every time then what it, it happens is every raise would kind of uh, rewrite the whole stack the whole format error backtrace will be rewritten from the last caught from where the last the last time when the error was caught so if it was unhandled you'll get the whole stack but if it got handled somewhere the format error backtrace is now having an updated information so in this case you will not get back to what has been uh, what has been uh, 
kind of the origin of the error so what you need to do is you need to use format error back state uh, also in the exceptions where you are catching it in this case if you are using it in your exception block what happens is when it gets raised here you can kind of see that okay it was really coming from get salary at line 7 now this is now if you see uh, correctly there is no exception that is being caught in this exception block so this exception is not getting raised at all why because everything is getting raised here and caught here in update EMP salary procedure itself yeah so whenever you are writing um, the exception block you need to be very wise in understanding uh, what all you need what all you are catching and and how kind of you can display it so that the end user when gets an issue you can fast uh, you can very quickly or very nicely uh, reach to the core issue then to just keep on debugging the whole stack and understanding the whole whole process that uh, was happening and what went wrong in that whole process also dba underscore source is a very good data dictionary that you can use it will give you the exact line numbers where the errors what were what were there uh, what code was lying there and whenever you get that line 13 so what is that line 13 if you open the procedure and come here you will not get the right thing so I open the procedure and come here line 7 is a print statement you will think what is wrong in my print statement right so use this table and use the line number here and you will be able to understand the whole thing right so this is whole about using uh, DBMS utilities uh, packages format error backstress uh, function so this is all from me for today do let me know if you are looking for any specific videos on Oracle PLSQL even for Python or Git and bamboo all those stuff this is Kishan signing off thank you